Are you okay? Yeah. Stop? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we need to, uh, after transferring the liquid nitrogen to the D4, I, we need to use this transfer line and transfer to our uh, exhaust natural station. So uh, I will need to insert this one to here. Okay. And after that, I need to turn this on quickly and just let it go in. When the, the liquid nitrogen is going up, right? I know you're speaking the bottom. So it be quick, right, with this ring here and close it. Use your hand, make it tight, and it should transfer to here, right? And I might need to build up some pressure later, but uh, now it is closed, so I need to turn this, right, clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise. And you can st start seeing that the gas is coming out from here, you can hear that. Right, so be careful, don't actually you should not touch it. Uh, but I know that it's just uh, early, so I think it's okay. So it's coming out, then I'm going to insert here and do it slowly. If there's a ring there, you don't want to push inside the ring, right? And close it, turn it all the way, make it tight. Right, and before that, make sure that uh, we have uh, moved the probe tip away because they're going to contract and then you will uh, hit each other. Now, we know that this chip might pop if we cool it down too fast. So what I'm going to do is to uh, do the set point for the sample stage. I will make it at maybe 200 Kelvin. Uh, enter and turn on the heater, right? How do you turn on the heater? Go to A, and then turn on the heater range, and then choose, I will do high for now, right? The goal is to make sure that it does not cool down too fast, otherwise the chip may pop. 